Have you ever had your emotional state influence your physical performance? <laughs> I love these fun questions. And my answer is, have I ever had my emotional state not influence my physical performance? Um, it is definitely something. <laughs> uh, I am a very emotional and sensitive human being, so I think particularly for me this is the case. However, I would be surprised. There are a few people out there, I think, who are able to compartmentalize. And I think maybe in my past as an elite athlete, to a certain extent, you can compartmentalize. Um, you have to be able to do that. But I would say overwhelmingly, my emotional state influences my performance. Um, when I was a teenager, I used to have a lot of experiences where my parents would come to watch me race. And I, I don't know if it was like, pressure from me of having them knowing what they had given up to be there, whether it was that I felt they were judging me, which they weren't, but I, I maybe that I wanted to do my best for them or that it was their maybe concern for me was um, not what I needed in that, those moments. But um, for a while, I wouldn't let my parents come to watch me race because I felt like I went into those races very stressed, very um, antsy, very nervous, and I felt like I performed better without them. And so that's what really comes to mind for me for my emotional state, um, especially when you're trying to run at your best performance. Um, you want to be able to focus on what you're doing, and, and sometimes we can't. Um, you know, sometimes things happen. Sometimes we go through long periods where something is happening when we're grieving or if we're moving or um, if you have had a child. You know, there's there's long chunks of time where you might be, your emotional state might be affected day after day. And in that sense, I think running can be a beautiful and loyal friend and therapist and someone who can help you through those tough times Um and actually help you process them. It's almost like sometimes we forget, or sometimes we need running to be that grounding factor through us so that when we're going through difficult phases of life or when things are going wrong in our life, we can be reminded that running will always be there for us. However, I do think that sometimes when we're trying to perform, this is why I really encourage people and why I spent a good chunk of the book uh, coming out soon, Becoming a Sustainable Runner, a good chunk of it was spent talking about the fact that if you are going through major life changes or major, um, you know, it's just that time of life where running, it just cannot be a priority that you do not focus on like big goal, want to do this as well, because you're not going to be able to give your best to it. And if you're okay with that, that's fine. But if you're putting any kind of pressure on, I want to run a certain time or I want to run a certain distance or I want to complete something in a certain way, you're only adding to that emotional state. That said, um, <laughs> I've definitely had many experiences where something has shifted my emotional state. Maybe someone like petty as this was, uh, like said something to me in the, in the hour before the race and it affected me and, and made me mentally cave as I, as I gave in to thinking about what that could mean, or um, I've had moments where something really good has happened, someone said something really uh, meaningful before a race or, or an important run, and that's really inspired me to keep going and believe in myself. I definitely think the emotional side of things affects me. I think it depends on the person. And I'd love to hear from you. You can write below in the comments, you can write in, um, in Running For Your Superstars or wherever you feel you can reach out to me. Does, do you feel your emotional state influences your physical performance? I love these fun questions and I would love to hear your answer um, because we're so connected in that way. Uh, and some people are very good at like separating the two, but I think for me, that is definitely not the case. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to more of your questions coming in. If you're a Patreon listener, you can get this, um, you can have the opportunity to get your questions answered and uh, you can submit those on Patreon for me to answer in an upcoming episode. Yours will be pushed to the front of the line of these questions. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you next time.